What's going on you guys? Got the uh, Lexus coming in in about the next 30 minutes or so. Pretty nervous. It's always scary buying these from auction, you know, sight unseen. But feeling optimistic about this one and hopefully that this could uh, be a good jump start for the car flip. So we'll see. What do you think of the Lexus? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Got the garage all cleared out for it. Looks like that's probably what it is. is mangled. This is a good spot. Because this, this is three, is uh, only one way. Right. On the truck, whenever I do the ramp, you have that one strap that goes up and you hook and then you tighten it and mm. it just holds the ramp. To the oh, yep. yep. I have to do this, but this car, this car, have a, the tire like this, you see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I have to be tight. So you have to, yeah, yeah. It's tough because it's such a busy road. I'll do the window, yep. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's all it's practice. Yeah? Yeah. Jump through it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it starts. Uh oh. Be a dead battery.
come smell it. It kind of smells like the uh, the G wagon. Those 911s, that oh, old yeah. leather. Yep. Okay, so what lights do we have on? ABS. Fuel is empty. Washer. No check engine light. That would be right there. But we could just go read through all those. Yeah. This what do you is V8. Think? It's going to haul. It's but a pretty it's light. Yeah, we'll see. But I know both this is. Both seats are two memories on both seats. These are pretty haggard. I don't know that. <laughs> pretty haggard? Yeah, I don't think you're going to even be able to sell them. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Look. I can't believe there's even back seats. Oh my gosh, yeah, the leg room, that's what I've read is, like, look, the seat's pretty much back. <laughs> Put your dogs back there, but not a human. <laughs> you want to see if the top works? Um, let's see. There I think is. it was just this. Yep. There's a few. Wait, you have to unlock it. No, there's, there's no, uh, okay. like, so, just hold the open. You ready? Yep. Here it goes. <laughs> It's going. Nice. Holy cow. Money. Sweet. All right, that's, that's a win. That's a huge win. Oh, this will be so fun. I really wanted another convertible. I know. Like, this might be a lot of fun. Oh, I like that Lexus logo on the back of the yeah. seat right there. But yeah, that leg room is atrocious. That's hilarious. Yeah, but take the dogs. Yeah, that's true. That would be good for the dogs. You'd be out by this The haggard <laughs> seats. <laughs> looks like a what do you think? Oh, it looks awesome. Looks like a cool convertible. Like this is the perfect Florida car. This is yeah. Perfect. It's super low. Alright, so it's got absolutely no gas, so first thing we're going to go do is go fill it up. So, I'm going to go to the gas station real quick. Ready to oh, see no. it? Oh, it's in the garage? No, it's not. Oh, okay. But, hold on. <laughs> I don't like being recorded. Here, close the door. Don't let Rocky out. Oh my gosh. So it drives? It drove off the trailer. <laughs> At least did that. What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's nice. Wow. Okay, at least that rip is right on the seam. So when you Yeah, I mean both it, the seats are kind of trashed a little bit, but Oh no, yeah, we didn't even notice that one. In the picture. Yeah, so you're going to wrap the wood something probably. Yeah. Oh, a convertible is so fun. I know. So this is where the damage is. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. But it hasn't messed up any of, like, the wheel or anything. So, like... Yeah, not that I know of. Hopefully not. So. So, just going to replace that? When are you getting that done? I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. That's probably not that bad, though, because this, like, you can fix up yourself and that won't be very bad yeah. but at least you're already getting a new fender so the top worked great oh i'm glad that the top works because that's like the best like so that's why you get a convertible oh my gosh i like it really i like it a lot yeah it's a cool car so you drive it i would drive it yeah or you can especially here like, would you drive it how it is right now though
Yeah. Damage on them, but. <laughs> but that's really not that bad. Like. Yeah. Just look like all the other Jacksonville drivers. <laughs> I like it though. Of course, it might be dead. Yeah. It's dead, so we'll have to jump it. And I can't even open this until uh About the car? Yeah. I mean, that's a little nerve wracking if it needs like a new alternator or something. Well, alternator's not too bad. I'm just more so hoping that the engine and transmission are good. Yeah, transmission. Like, if it's a new battery, that's whatever. Yeah, battery. Alright, so here it is, 2002 Lexus SC430, um, was it a mistake? I don't know, got absolutely no brakes, like I had to push my foot down all the way and barely stop, so definitely gonna have to take a look at the brakes, probably gonna need new rotors and pads, I can't really see because these wheels are huge. You can't see anything in there. Um, so you have to pop these wheels off, check on the brakes. I'm gonna be changing up all the fluids. So that'll probably be the first thing I do is working on all the fluids. Um, and then I'll do the brakes, see if it needs anything else. Change out this fender. This fender's pretty damaged. And then maybe the front bumper, I don't know. I'll see if I can kind of fix that. Interior, doesn't really need a whole lot. Um, these two seats are obviously pretty bad. But besides that, it looks pretty good. We'll see if it starts. Nope. It does not. The 
this close? Nope. So definitely going to need some uh, something going on with the battery, but hopefully nothing too bad. I mean, for $2,000, can't really complain too much. Let's see, where's the lights? Is there no way to open the trunk with the key? There's no, no keyhole. There's no way to open the trunk. Manually. Wow. So, I guess if you're in my situation where the battery's dead, there's no way to get to the trunk. That seems, that can't be right. I don't know. Wow. I know good condition ones for around this mile, I just got 130,000 in my area, um, which I think is pretty insane. So hopefully if I can get that same um, colored fender on that side, maybe replace the bumper, hoping to, you know, squeeze 10 to 12 out of it, I'd be really happy with that. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get some of you know these issues fixed up. Hopefully there's nothing else, um, but pretty optimistic, and I think that once it is all said and done, it's gonna be an awesome little you know convertible. So I've been burned a few times on these, you know, sight unseen auctions. I've also had a few that have gone really well. So sometimes it's just kind of hit or miss, but hopefully this one will be fine. I'll do one more little walk around without me talking because it will not look like this. It will not look like this for long. So just take it in, see what it looks like now. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys step-by-step step how to transform it into something, you know, that looks brand new, so. passenger side same kind of deal seats definitely seen some better days this one doesn't look like it's as bad at least on the back this backrest um but then the bottom part is you know cracking and fading up so don't know what i'm gonna do about that carpet looks pretty good though obviously the floor mat the floor mat itself actually doesn't even look too bad but then, you know, the carpet up there on the sides, that still looks good. It's not faded or stained or anything like that. And then this door panel looks almost perfect. So, thinking of wrapping all of the wood, probably just gloss black. Don't want to go with anything too crazy. But the wood definitely is kind of what gives the interior away as being a 2002 car. So... Might help just update the interior a little bit, having all that wood gone. A little bit cracky on the radio. Yikes. <laughs> that screen is trashed. It's a little bit of adhesive glue, but I mean, the rest of it looks good.
nice. We'll see if this works, but looks like it has a little aftermarket. So if that's not the radio, then I don't know what that is. We'll figure it out. Let's see, there's your two little cup holders. Of random goo. Okay, I see why that was on. But almost has like a navy ish tint, um, which I kind of like. All right, well, that's it for the day. So thank you all for watching. Um, I know I'm still pretty new to all of this YouTube stuff. So if you have any recommendations or anything else you want to see, anything you want to see less of, just feel free to let me know. And then so for the next few videos, I'm just going to kind of be going over the process. So obviously, next video is going to be washing the outside, um, changing up all the fluids. I'm kind of taking a further look into what else the car may need. And then, you know, after that, we're going to be taking the car fully apart, wrapping it, totally transforming how it looks and all that. So definitely stay tuned. Um, I'll try to, you know, get cranking on this and get this thing finished. But uh Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it, especially if you made it this far. So hope you all have a great rest of your day. See you soon.